An old Instagram hoax is making the rounds again. It claims the social media company is about to change its rules in order to access users' photos. A section of that hoax reads, quote, everything you've ever posted becomes public from today, even messages that have been deleted or the photos not allowed. But on its website, Instagram is saying, quote, nothing is changing about users' content rights. Simone Boyce joins me now from the West Coast. Simone, so happy to see you. It wasn't just everyday users who fell for this hoax. A whole bunch of celebs, even members of the administration fell for it. Talk to me about who got suckered once again. Oh man, Allison, this is pretty <laughs> tragic. I have to say that on my Instagram feed, the first person who posted it was the fashion designer, Zach Posen. Oh. And immediately in his comments, yeah, Zach fell for it. Immediately in the comments, people were saying, Zach, come on. I mean, I hope you know this probably isn't going to be legally binding. But of course, he wasn't the only one. There was Megan Rapinoe, Usher, Deborah Messing, who actually posted it, and then I think deleted it once she checked Snopes, and then reposted it again. A couple of other people, Julia Roberts, Rob Lowe. But the most surprising, the one person you would hope wouldn't be suckered by this, Secretary of Energy Rick Perry. I mean, this is the guy <laughs> who is tasked with managing our nuclear arsenal. But still, he fell for this one, too. All right, yeah, maybe his expertise is somewhere outside of social media. But, Simone, there were some pretty clear red flags in there. So even if you had never heard of this hoax before, if you fell for it, what should have alerted people that something was up? Okay, so a couple <laughs> of red flags that we should probably go over here. There are some major grammatical errors in there, so that's probably not something that a company like Instagram or Facebook is going to want you to circulate. There was a, a reference to Channel 13 News, which is super generic. I mean, no city right. or state that apparently <laughs> was attached to that news station. And, of course, I mean, if you think that posting something like this on Instagram is going to hold up in a court of law, you probably need to lawyer up. Yeah. Uh, Simone, it's funny. It sounds like those emails you get from, like, corporate that they send you all these spam things to try to trick you and see if you, like, click on the attachment. It's always that, like, misspelling the random TV station. People miss a lot of red flags. All right, so by the time Instagram debunked this hoax, it had already spread like wildfire. I mean, is this just a statement about our Internet culture today? I think it kind of is. You know, these sorts of things have been circulating on Facebook, on Instagram, on social media for years. And this is just the evolution, right? Before we had chain mail through AOL, where it was like, if you don't pass this on to 16 people, you're going to die. This is just a chain meme. So uh, this is just the latest iteration of that. And I think this just is a reminder for us, all of us as news consumers and as consumers of social media, to be judicious and to be skeptical. Simone, we mentioned in the intro to you that uh, Instagram had put something up on their site just kind of saying that wasn't true. Have they given any other response today? You know, they're sticking to uh, this is not true. You know, this is not according to our policy. This is not something that we would ever want our users to do. This is not the way that we would ask our, inter our users to indicate their settings. So I think that's the message that Instagram is trying to send. Simone, I know you didn't fall for it. I didn't fall for it. Sorry Zach Posen fell for it, but thank you so much for clearing all this up. Great to see you. Allison, one more person who fell for it. Your favorite, Pink. I hate to say it. My girl. Come on now. Pink knows better than that. All right, Simone. Great to see you. Thanks so much. Bye. Hey, NBC News viewers. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.